Hi, welcome to Simply Scuba. The SEAC Men's Master Dry Semi Dry Wetsuit is a really nice, tough, um, sort of nice, thick, and warm uh, semi dry. So, in this, it's kind of a hybrid between a dry suit and a wetsuit. It's got nice, effective seals and a dry zipper on the back but it's still going to allow a certain amount of water to get in. Uh, it's just going to keep you that much warmer uh, by stopping that water from moving dead, um, uh, just to keep you warm in cooler waters. So you'll be able to use this in the UK for, uh, for all of the summer, uh, most of autumn and a bit in the spring, uh, but the winter is still sort of dry suit territory. If we start at the top, it has a neoprene glide skin uh, rolling neck seal. So this is the same as the neoprene neck seal on a dry suit. You roll it in on itself and, uh, and any air on the inside of the suit is just going to inflate this section and create a nice watertight seal uh, just to stop water from flushing in quite so quick. Underneath that on the outside, you have this warm guard neck on the outside. Uh, this is just an additional layer of neoprene so you can tuck your hood underneath that and that's going to stop water from flushing in quite so quick. You have this little grommet here which just acts as a drain for any water that collects in there after the dive water is just going to allow to drain out of there so it doesn't collect around your neck. Both shoulders they have a reinforced neoprene section here and this just uh, keeps up with the usual abrasion from your, uh, from your shoulder pads on your BCD uh, just stops the abrasion. This is nice and abrasion resistant. The neoprene itself is nice and chunky, there's about 7mm of neoprene, um, but still it's nice and stretchy, nice big open panels, not too many seams around it, makes it more flexible, easy to get into and out of. Both of the arms have uh, rolling glide skin uh, wrist seals, so you roll them in on themselves, and over the top of that you have the additional um, neoprene. And this is so that you can put the wetsuit on, put your gloves, and then put your gloves underneath this. Again, it just slows the water down, stops it from entering the suit quite so quick. Moving down the suit, on the right-hand side, you do have a, right, a, a thigh pocket <coughs> with a zippered entry. Nice, big, open uh, neoprene pocket. So you can put your mask in there, um, any additional tools like your torch or your SMB. Uh, anything that you need to use, just to, um, thigh pockets are always very useful. At the base of that pocket, you have a, uh, a little tab here which attaches your hood. So whenever you're not using your hood, you can just attach it to your, uh, to your thigh, just to keep it safe, just so you never lose it. There's a very useful bibless hood. Uh, on the inside, you have their thermal plush lining, and this just traps the water and stops it from moving around. It's nice and warm and uh, the top of the hood has vented sections as well. So any air that gets trapped inside the hood, as you ascend, it's gonna allow it to escape through these vents uh, without letting water flushing in. Uh, that way no air gets trapped inside the hood. Both of the knees have reinforced uh, padded sections. Um, again, just to uh, protect it with, um, from the usual wear and tear, the usual abrasions. Um, the knee section and uh, halfway down the shin is protected. And we have these glide skin, rolling glide skin leg seals at the bottom um, around your ankles. And you do have that added bit of neoprene, so you can tuck your boots in underneath that, again, just slowing the water down. If we turn this suit around, <coughs> we see it's got a horizontal flexible plastic T-zipper. So this is the same that they use on dry suits. Nice big um, toggle. And the plastic T-zip is very, very flexible uh, when you compare it to the old brass uh, gas zipper. It's much more flexible, uh, much more hard wearing, and, uh, but it's still a dry zip. So that's gonna stop water from flushing in really, really well. On the inside, you have CX thermal fiber, same as in the hood. What this does is any water that gets in, it gets trapped in this thermal fibre, stops it, holds it against your body, your body warms that water up, and that's what keeps you warm inside this semi-dry. Flexible T-zipper, very easy to do up again. 
You have padded sections along the spine. Uh, this just adds added padded protection over your spine. Whenever you're wearing your cylinder, um, just gives you added padding. Along the seat, you have that reinforced neoprene as well. Whenever you're seated down, um, just protects against the usual wear and tear. And both of the knees, you can see from this side, are, uh, are pre-bent as well, just to, uh, to make it more anatomically comfortable. All in all, it's a nice um, sort of 7mm semi-dry wetsuit, uh, semi-dry, sorry. And that is the SIAC Master Dry Semi-Dry Wetsuit. Thanks for watching.